Stricter bans on smoking now are being considered in Shelbyville. This is all in hopes of protecting children. The city may expand its smoking ban to include school bus stops. Jenny Runovich is here now with how a local mother sparked this effort to keep her son safe. Jenny? Well, mom asked the city to look into this because her son had a bad medical reaction to an adult smoking at his bus stop. Now, a law change is likely in Shelbyville. So he crosses the street right up here. Crystal Smothers noticed the problem on the first day of school. So his original bus stop was on this opposite side of the street here. A parent smoking next to the children. Her son, seven-year-old Bryce, has asthma. And when Crystal asked the parent to put out her cigarette, she took one step back but kept smoking. And I kind of explained to her that, you know, that just wasn't going to be enough. And he was already starting to wheeze. And she just didn't seem to care at all. I realized about one out of every three bus stops, someone was sitting there smoking with the children. If you think about those kids, they're there five days a week, morning and evening, have to inhale that. That's a lot on their lungs. So the school changed Bryce's bus stop. About a week later, he was moved back down to this corner over here to be by himself away from the smoking. And Crystal contacted her councilman about changing city law to include bus stops in the smoking ban. We don't want to limit people from um, um, smoking around or maybe the front yards where a bus stop is, but we, we think acceptable maybe 15 or 20 feet so the children don't have to have the secondhand smoke. A 15-foot perimeter for not only school bus stops, but also government buildings and city bus stops in Shelbyville. A vote expected next month. Police would warn then ticket violators. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And I'm a smoker. The ban seems reasonable to Matthew. So I, I totally see that because I don't think that the children should be subjected to that. And for Crystal, it's about keeping her son and students safe. You know, if you're smoking, you could walk away for a minute or just wait, but they can't, they can't leave. So the city council is now working out specific language of the law to make sure the personal property is still protected in all this. Again, the vote expected in October. Okay, so what about enforcement? Are police actually going to go out there and patrol the bus stops? They will, and they already do for safety. Of course, education, awareness is their main goal. But if this does become law and people, let's say, violate the ban multiple times, there will be tickets issued. All right. Shelby County always been very progressive in these. Uh, yeah, they were one of the first to even get the ban. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Jenny.